All right, YouTube, hello. It's time for that part of the week where we read the YouTube comments from the previous week, the ones that I handpicked and selected. We've got a couple toxic ones in there, a nice few world-building questions, some compliments, and some thought-building processes. So we're going to talk about the least today. If you want to be in these videos, you just have to, you know, comment on my videos, on my YouTube videos, and I might cover it, I might not. That's the gamble you take. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, we'll get right into it. First comment here is from Guz Thraka. I honestly hope that they build real themes around the deck like Digimon does. Some kind of Monsters Inc. build would be amazing, even with the option of splashing some Kingdom Hearts goofy shit to help cover tech options, but honestly both hilarious and feel fun. Uh, this is in reference to the Disney video, which I have a whole bunch of comments at the end that I will wait to go into a full-blown discussion until then. But, yeah, the sky's the limit with this game. I think they could breed all sorts of different combinations together and it would be super successful. But we'll get more on that later. Sim74. This will either be the biggest cash grab of the game and become something that collectors will make huge money off of because of the trademark, or this will fail miserably and be acknowledged as Disney by Skylanders. Uh, I do remember Skylanders, the figures back in the day. I don't think this will fail. A, it's Disney. B... You know, people are going to buy it just to get all the arts and collect everything. It's going to be crazy. Plus, sealed product collectors, you know. This this game's not going anywhere from a collector standpoint, let alone a competitive one, depending if there's a competitive one. But thankfully, the collector side of it will keep Disney making money, and they'll keep doing it. All right, my Mastermon list. My list very closely resembles your list, and I 100% agree on Cracked or Deanmon is. Sure, it's situational, but when that situation comes up, you'll be glad you use that card in the deck. Deck has been very strong board presence and constant recovering to where even OTK decks will have trouble dealing with you. High score chef is correct, or Dean Mon is correct. It really helps certain matchups for you. Really good card. Makes Mast One worth it. Yay, Elza types. If you need an overabundance of Chaos Degradation and Security Win, you're probably not winning. It's probably my favorite takeaway from this vid. Yes, don't assume your Mastmon deck will have the nuts in security. Sometimes it will, sometimes it'll feel good, but it won't always be that way. You need to play the deck assuming you have nothing in there. Unless you know your stuff in there, because you have like TK. But you know what I mean, just be careful. Next up, this is one of those toxic ones, kind of. Why are you even reviewing the comment section? I do this to uh, kind of let the viewers know that I do read the comments and I do want to interact with them. You see, when some YouTubers become, you know, big, some even Digimon content creators do this, so I'm not going to name names, but they don't even look at their comments. Or maybe they look at the comments, but they don't interact or anything. There's no give back, right? You know, I want to show some kind of appreciation that people are watching and commenting. Uh, I literally don't have the bandwidth and the time to comment on every single comment like I used to do back when I first started the channel. Uh, I'm obviously much bigger, giggity, and I'm obviously a lot more busy now than I was when I started the YouTube channel two years ago, two and a half years ago now? Holy moly. Uh, anyway, so this is my way of giving back. Now, if you're not interested in this video, even Carrillo, don't watch. Don't have to. But I like it. I let the community know I'm there for them no matter what. Have you come across a Luigi's Gaming World channel? <laughs> Stax McGee asks, and I did look this up before uh, this. There is actually a Luigi's Gaming World. It has six subscribers. It's got not a lot of views. Sorry. SOS for not been posting vid coming soon. Oh boy. Like we care. It's Luigi's Gaming World. Unfortunately, I don't see this girl blowing up anytime soon. But yes, it does exist. Luigi's Gaming World does exist. Oh, what a joke. Okay. Uh, ruler types. Isn't Dark Mario just Wario? He has the mustache for it. That's a common misconception, actually. Um, Wario is just the antithesis of all good. Dark Mario is a god. That's just, just that it. When you have something like this that exists in the world, a, a force of good, a powerful entity capable of doing whatever, capable of just being the objective best presence around, there has to be some kind of balance. You know, the university has... The university? <laughs> the universe has to balance the scales. Uh, Dark Mario is a balance to me. Uh, 
it just it has to exist otherwise you know one day i'll explode dark mario lets me have an outlet for certain thoughts that do not exist i don't even know what dark mario does you know we completely switch it's like a yugi versus pharaoh thing before they knew they could you know merge imagine if i can merge one day oh my god that'd be crazy but yeah no not wario wario is just bullshit just like luigi Oh, this is it. If you need a beard to feel wiser, you're probably not winning, Lamau. <laughs> kind of toxic, kind of not. You know what I mean? I love the beard. I keep saying that. I love this beard. I really do. It's really thick. It's getting bigger by the day. But uh, I've won two Bandai events. What about you, Christopher Ronaldo? Yeah. Maybe you should get a beard. Think about it. Su so, so long. People buying Machine Dramon are going to take a loss due to the new gold foil EX1 Machine Dramon comp map. Yes, it is true that that is a thing. Um, technically, Max Rarity, sure. Uh, and we'll see play. People just got to be careful. That's all it comes down to. And I think Max Rarity will determine. It'll be which card. Which Max Rarity Machine Dramon is harder to get. Will it be the EX1 alt art in the set? Or will it be this gold foil one? Time will tell. Um, but as always, approach your cards with caution because you never know what kind of reprint or stuff Bandai could do. Dakota Wolf, good call, New Awakening. It's the only sealed set that hasn't been moving up lately, and that's because it's more recent. Box case prices will definitely go up soon. Uh, just a reminder that I still do have the bots. A lot of YouTube channels do right now. Just be careful. We report them as fast as they come in. Just watch out for those. Don't fall for it. It's a scam. But anyway, uh... New Awakening, actually, since, like, this comment has gone up a little bit. I suspect this might be because of the Black or Green One buyout stuff. You can just buy a box for 50-something dollars US. You pull a Black or Green One, pulls, like, it's, like, a fourth of your value. It's kind of crazy. It's only super rare. So it's not, you know, far out there to pull that. You know what I mean? So just, yeah, New Awakening will go up in price soon. I can feel it. I love these vids, man. You definitely improved my market savvy. And save me lots of money on singles, says Sam Barry. Well, I'm glad you like the market watches, Sam Barry. I like making them. Syndicate. The puns were so bad, we all fall down. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, a funny fall down made some bad puns. And now this is a pun about the puns. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. You love to see it. Isaiah writes in, great video. Has anyone made a debuffer that is a bit more budget, doesn't have to use Death X? I love the deck, but man, a lot of money dropped for three cards. Uh, I think you have no choice. At this point in time, based on the way the meta works, D Reaper needs Death X. And next set, D Reaper is still good, but really, really needs Death X. My opinion is if you want to build D Reaper for next set, buy the Death Xs now, because if you don't buy them now, you'll be punished later. Just telling you right now. Just lost to this Ofani deck at this weekend Italian regional. Losing the win rate 60% mass on combo was so frustrating. The deck can be unfair sometimes. That's one of the reasons why the Ofani deck is so good. Or Fairy Loop or Andrew Amon Turbo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Mateo, it happens, man. But what can you do? Decks are good. Okay. These are the few comments of the Disney video. These last few comments now will be regarding the Disney TCG video, and I want to have a conversation about this. Uh, Andrew Shepard writes, and I definitely want to get my hands on Mickey cards. He feels like a really safe bet to hold on to. Yeah, get some alternate art or collector Mickey Mouse cards. Uh, yeah, from the first set. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Theo J says, I can't wait for Goofy Turbo to clap the shit out of Thanos control. It's a game where it's possible. It really is. And Sebas, if they get the mechanics down, I think it could be cool. I also hope they pick good themes and IPs to start. What has me worried is the less strategic and easier to get into focus. All right, let's go main screen for a second here. Top up, talk about these comments. This game is going to be insane. We get our first reveals of cards Friday, I believe, at the D23 Expo. And I should be streaming that. Or at least my response to it. So if you're not following me on Twitch and you're interested in the Disney TCG stuff, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Because I do think we're going to dabble into content creation for this game. Um, for reasons that we'll talk about later. Not important right now. What's important is the actual card game, right? 
the game has the ability to do so many things, like a Goofy versus a Thanos deck. They could pick multiple IPs, and yes, Mickey cards and other collectible, lovable Disney characters could just be super huge price grab cards. It really can be. Uh, I'm looking forward to what the deck what the deck has to offer in terms of what decks can be offered in this game. And yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.